Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Gaming here, and welcome back to Plutocracy and the life, I guess I've been saying career, but life of Mr. Richard Mills. So, last episode, we sold our shares in Jericho only to come crawling back because we couldn't make a deal with anybody over in freaking security, and so I ended up having to come back here again. But, I mean, eventually it should be worth it. I could just stay over here and invest again over the next couple turns, then and, and increase my influence some and then go back to New York again, which is what I'll probably end up doing. I could probably t I can talk to them now, but I don't really want to. Can I afford to go? I can't afford a ticket yet to go back. <laughs> so I say, can I afford a ticket to go back? You guys have already ruined enough of my stuff. No, you're not voting for that. No, thank you. Everybody's against it. We're not taking out any loans. We don't need any loans in security. There's no reason for that. No purpose whatsoever. Oh, Mr. Ross is actually at a zero now. So I could talk to him and Barnes together. And if I... Hmm. I'm going to see if I can... If I go slow first, and then I was going to say I could just literally sell everything again. And actually, he just went back up to 53. God dang it. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, he wants to buy my shares of security. No. You can't have them. I want them. He's gonna give me eight percent, but I'm I no, I I want those. <laughs> I, I need to increase my stake, not decrease it. I can still talk to both of them, and hopefully that if the deal goes south, it doesn't it doesn't put them out of reach, is what I'm hoping. So we'll see what happens. Alright, so we're going back to New York again. It's gonna take me a minute to get there, but we're trying to make this deal happen. Hopefully they will accept this time, and if they do. Things will be great. You want to buy my shares in Jericho? 10% for a 1% stake. 120,000, that would give me a little bit more ammo to go up here to deal with these guys, but I'm going to lose 12, 14,000 in income per turn. Is it worth it? I don't know. I, I'll take it. I'll take it, actually. And in worst case scenario, I can come back and I'll do what I did last time and just buy it for less if, if I have somebody I can negotiate with. So. We'll see what ends up happening there. All right, security is now actually the company. Everybody's on strike now. <laughs> Everybody's on strike. So let's try and deal with Mr. Barnes first again, because Mr. Barnes is supposed to be the easiest one to deal with, although he's being the one that's being obnoxious and annoying. So we, we lost 14000 in terms of income on that deal, but if we can make this deal go through, then we'll get 21000 So we'll, we'll have made a profit of like 7000 So I'm going to give him... I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and see if this is gonna work. It looks like it's not. I don't like I don't get why they're doing this. Like I'm trying to give them a decent deal and they just will not they will not accept it. I don't maybe I'm trying to buy too much of the steak right now, and that's why they're upset about it. I just don't get what I should do differently. He's still not gonna accept, is he? Nope, it was just off. And so now I need, I can still talk to him next turn. So there's, there's that, there's a bright side in terms of that, but it still doesn't really help us that much if I still can't get a deal done with him next turn. So I just, I don't know. Maybe I should try and buy half a stake and then, yeah, sure. If you guys want to actually use the money that we've been freaking stockpiling, that would be great. <laughs> I mean, we've been, we've been holding it here for a minute now. We should probably use it. We should probably use it. I got 300k to inv I'm gonna have like 300k to invest in next turn or to invest with next turn. I could have more than that if I sold my other stake, but oh, this is great to increase income. I'll vote for that. I don't have that much of a stake to be really doing that, but okay, well, I don't know why they don't want to expand. I, I just don't understand the CPU when it comes to that. They literally will sit there with boatloads of money and don't want to do anything, they just want the dividends. That's it. They just want the dividends. All right, so we got another shot. We're going to try and shoot our shot with Mr. Ross. Right, you guys can't talk now again. Mr. Ross again. And I'm going to try and buy a little bit less of a stake. We're going to see if this is going to work this time. I'm not buying the full stake, so I'll give him like 12% more. He's still not going to accept. Like, I don't... I, I, I offered less. He didn't take it. I offered more. He didn't take it. I don't, like... I mean... I don't know what more I could really do. Like, I want that company so bad though, and I keep trying this and I keep trying and it's just, it's not working. <laughs> it's just not working. I don't even know. I guess I'm going back to Texas again. 
Or is there another company that maybe just maybe might have more friendly people to deal with? This company, 2.7% or 2.7 million. I could talk to both of these people. So you know what? Forget you, Mr. Ross. I don't care about you anymore. I'm going to deal with more friendly people that won't literally make me just do everything just to get something. Although still, since that company is worth more, slightly more, let's see. The lowest, 2.7. Why did it say their stake was, what did it say the stake was worth? Two, it's, one, it's worth 1.3 million. So technically I could buy her entire stake. It gets 64,000 in dividends if I was to sell everything I got, but that wouldn't really be worth it per se, considering that this stake is also worth uh, 1.4. I feel like I'm kind of at a crossroads here because I don't know whether I should try and keep trying to buy them out or should I just go somewhere else. This might be an option here in California too because I think I can deal with more people here. These guys want to sell too. So, all right, there's a lot more people to deal with there, but I think I'm going with that one. So I'm, I'm going to sell here in security or security. I guess I, I guess I could just keep them for right now because I mean it's still profit so and then maybe eventually I can still come back and deal with these guys again <laughs> I hate to have to deal with them anyway but I guess I might as well keep it for now I've been selling too much stuff so I'm going over to California it's gonna take me like 60 days to get there like two months but it is what it is at this point I could have just gone back and invested in Jericho again but I'm trying to get a decent stake in a company now rather than investing in profits so we're up to 92,000 we've almost made our way back up to 100k so it's not too bad you want to actually use that I vote with you every time you should realize that by now and actually give me some shares or something my opponent's making a million dollars per turn by the way now so um I'm still really far behind I think the richest person that what was the richest person wealth again if that person is even still there as the richest person anymore, they might not even be there. The richest person now is making, I, I could probably skip a little bit of this. Richest person has 91 million, still making more than my opponent. So my, Mr. Bryant, I need you to stay there. I need you to not give up what you have, <laughs> please. All right, so we made it to California. Our goal is going to be invest, investing in Obo. So we can, let's see. How much of a stake could we get? The, the major investor here only has 20%. So I could become the majority stakeholder after a little bit. But his his stake is worth 377. We have 270 right now. So within the next couple turns, we could literally... And how much is how much are the dividends? 11,000? Not too much. But I think we make a deal here. I think we make a deal here. I could pretty much buy his most of his stake, 276, 265. We'll, we'll cut down just a little bit. That's going to increase our influence so that if we wanted to, we could possibly go back over to New York again. Looks like he's going to accept this. So thank you very much, Mr. Foster. There, oh, is this the same Mr. Foster? I think, it, I think it's a different one. There's so many different people. All right, so we fulfilled his wish. Oh, God, this company is actually in kind of rough shape right now. I don't like the manager that they have, but I'm now the, the third, four, I'm sorry, fourth. I can't count right now fourth highest uh, shareholder right now so this is you want to sell too how much do you want to sell though is the question 37 new workplaces I would agree with that mrs. Ross but it's a question of is it it's oh that's gonna expand that means we're gonna eventually start to get more money from Jericho even though they cut our freaking dividends but because of the overall profit increase from the extra workers we should get more money now so that's gonna be great right, so we're making 97,000 per turn now we pretty much bought out a 13% stake, so we should be able to call, we should be able to talk again. So we got, let's see, who can I really negotiate with a little bit easier though? Mr. Jenkins, Mr. Foster, who was the guy we made the original deal with. Who wanted, or there was somebody that wanted to sell though. So he want, Mrs. Cook wants to sell. Your ambition is to sell 30, oh I can do that. I can do that, I'll buy that. 20,000 shares, yeah I'll buy that, I'll take that deal, alright. And now you give me the father. All right, so now I am the second majority stakeholder in the company. Now, actually, they've switched to wanting to buy shares in the company now, which kind of sucks. But I guess we could still make a deal with Mr. Hill here. All right. So that's going to increase us by about $2,000 in terms of profit. 
Hopefully he doesn't want way too much, uh, which I think he's not even going to accept a 10% increase, which... <sighs> There's some people in this game that I just don't understand. <laughs> some people, like, you give them 10% more, they're like, no, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. It's like, why not? What did I, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? All right, let's see. We can try here, Mr. Jenkins. Maybe he'll accept. I guess I kind of know I don't have this money anyway. We'll do 3%. I can do 3%, I can't really do anything more than that. Looks like we're going to be in the middle. You're going to you're gonna have to meet me here. I can say I'm going to give you an extra percent, but I kind of can't afford that in all honesty. Looks like we're still not going to have enough firepower there. So, the deal is not really going to get any better, my friend. This is all we got. So, if you're going to make a deal, I suggest you make it now. And I think you did. Thank you very much. Alright, so, our influence is going to increase even more. All right, so now we should have another point to use as well. And just because of this, again, I'm going to use psychology now. So I think now I should be able to talk even more to the people in New York. <laughs> and let's see. So 12%, 20% profitability. I can talk to both Barnes and Ross now again. And what I could do, I'm still trying to see if I should try and sell my stake in Jericho. Because if I sold my entire stake, I could literally probably afford to pretty much buy out that other the other company right now. So it's giving me 116k. Security itself is giving me 39. So if I was to pretty much take this and put it there, I'd probably make about just as much. So that's the thing here. I still can't afford my ticket back. So and I'm gonna lose if I do sell though. I'm gonna lose my reputation. So I gotta keep that in mind. So I kind of can't sell right now at least. Unless somebody, well, no, even if they offer it to me, I can't take it because I still lose reputation either way. So, yeah, sure. Use the money. Use it. Use it. We got it. We might as well use it. But apparently nobody else wants to use it, so never mind then. You know, I'm thinking I may have been thinking about this whole thing in reverse now. I feel like it would be easier for me to negotiate here in California than it would be in New York. So maybe I should sell that and then put it into here. And I think it would be, I mean, that company is more profitable, but I have a better chance of really getting control of this company because the people that I have to deal with aren't annoying, <laughs> pretty much, and to say the very least. So, I mean, let's see. I'm trying to see if, I, I've tried to make deals with these guys before, and it just, it really hasn't worked out too well. And I mean, even still, if I sell everything to try and make this work, then I don't really have as much to invest anymore, so... My 12% stake is worth 230000 I can I can use that money to then negotiate with people here in California. And I don't have to keep going back and forth here. So I'm going to sell. It's going to decrease my reputation by a little bit. Or my, rep, yeah, my reputation by a little bit. But I'm going to pretty much make that back. So it's not going to be, I could still actually negotiate with people here. That's not too bad. I just hope that my freaking competitor doesn't jump over there. But I don't think he will. He's, he's, his desk is probably like 40% now profitability more than likely <laughs> he doesn't need that 30 percent. okay so he, he, he doesn't need that he doesn't need it at all matter of fact where is he actually right now in terms of finances i haven't checked on him he's getting two million so he's still dwarfing me like 10 times my net worth but eh, you know that was going to be too be too expected i can't even talk anymore <laughs> that was going to be expected so let's deal with people at Oboe. I still have a high enough reputation to deal with pretty much everybody here. There's a couple people that I can't deal with, but soon enough, soon enough, we will deal with them as well. So this stake, 300,000, we have 320,000 right now. So we can actually afford to buy this guy out completely. That'll boost us up to a 30% stake, but it depends on if he takes it. Now, it's probably going to be better for us to actually negotiate with this guy, though, because economic skills aren't as good. But they're both pretty friendly towards me, though, so I feel like both of them would be kind of willing to make a deal. But I can buy this guy's entire stake. So I'll give him 6% more. All right. And I think he's actually going to accept it. So we increased our standing in Oboe. I might be able to just maybe, maybe just maybe, vote for a new manager. All right. So we got another point that we can use. So now I'm actually, I think I'm actually going to use that point for um, finances so I can cut down on some of these expenses. So that gained us an extra 5000 now. So that, that worked out pretty well. Um, so what I'm going to do... Is since I am now a majority, technically majority owner here, um, <laughs> technically majority owner, I think I'm going to go ahead and start to make some changes here if the people will vote with me. 
So we have the manager. Like I said, I, I don't like the manager that we have here. Um, so let's see if I can put one of my people in here. Mr. Hernandez, I think you have earned the opportunity. And it was approved. Everybody else kind of just declined it. So, okay. Or they just didn't want to say anything. All right, cool. So now we can start working on developing the company. I think this is going to work out pretty well. He's exactly kind of where I want him to be, except I want to move this. I want to move him from here. I Oh, I can't because I don't have 50%. Dang it. So he's, he's in a decent spot. So I, I don't exactly like where he is, but it, it'll work for now. I'm thinking... Since I do still have the reputation, I wonder how much it would hurt me to sell my shares in Jericho. Because <laughs> I'm still thinking about that, because then I could take all of that and pretty much finish buying this company out. But, um, definitely not agreeing with that. I'm against that. I'm, I'm pretty much majority holder now, so you can't do anything to me. <laughs> Soon I'll have 50%. It'll be wonderful. Oh, thank you for increasing dividends again. That would be great. I would agree with that. If everybody else would, thank you. And I'll make 100000 again. Wonderful. Maybe I will hold on to Jericho then, because now you guys aren't being annoying buttholes to me. Good, 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 good. I would dropped a little bit below, but it's okay, it's okay. I was going to say, I might go back over there. No, you're not buying this. I just bought these. <laughs> I just bought these. I was going to say, I might go back over there and invest a little bit more, gain some more money. But, um, because I mean, I have a 10% stake in this company too. I could almost jump in here and, and make some and do some damage I guess but it'd probably take me like 10 or 15 turns to do it but <laughs> we'll see all right so we're currently making hundred and thirteen thousand dollars per turn this should be enough for us to increase our stake even more in oboe I don't know if it's gonna be enough to get us the 50% stake I don't think it will be because uh, this guy's stake he has 16% and it's worth 300,000 so yeah no it's not gonna be enough um I think we'll deal with mr. Hill we should be able to buy a significant portion of his stake. It's going to be 111. I don't want to give him everything I got right now, so we'll do this for the moment. It's going to increase our influence even more. I've been saying reputation instead of influence, haven't I? Yeah, but he's going to accept this, so we're going to be fine there. So we're going to increase our stake to 38.4%. Hopefully soon, we can get our way up to... We can get our way up to... 50 and then I can start making changes with the manager that would be great but uh, right now we're kind of stuck <laughs> right now we're kind of stuck now I I now have enough reputation to go back and talk to people over here but I'm just gonna let them freaking suffer for right now I think I wonder well the Jericho seems like it's fallen off a little bit since I left from over here 19% I don't I did did I ever was I the one that put that manager there I don't think I was and uh, we have so many like we could expand here I'm, I'm voting for expansion I don't care if if nobody agrees with me. I'm voting for expansion. We need to yes, we should be expanding. It's been it's been here for the longest. Like please. Thank you. And now we can actually hire more people. I, I still need 50 that well that's stupid. I still need 50% just to be able to say we need more workers. I can't increase the workers without <laughs> Why would why would I be able to vote for expansion then if I can't do anything with it? God dang it. All right. Well, that was kind of a waste. But eventually, I mean, if we do jump back over there, then we know that we can have a lot more workers than, than we have at the moment. So, win-win eh, situation, I guess. All right, so our income now sits at 131000 per turn. Uh, we should be able to make another deal here with Oboe. And I think, I don't know if we'll have enough for, I wanted, I'm still trying to get to 50, man. It's taking me so long. Stake is 7%, 150000 still can't make the deal that I really want to make. I guess we'll buy out Mr. Jenkins. We should be able to completely buy him out. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Increase our profit by 5,000. My opponent has pretty much made it to like 3 million in terms of profit per turn at this point. So, I'm really far behind. But my hope is that I can buy out this company first. He's got like 20% in, in uh, desks now. So, it's, um, it's going to be a little bit tough. But I hope that eventually we can make up the gap. Because what I'm going to do is that eventually, I'm just going to take this company and I'm just going to take the dividends down to nothing. And I'm going to use all the income that we can get per turn. And I'm going to I'm going to move it and we're going to just constantly keep expanding the company. So I'll have my other shares over in uh, wherever that was, in Texas. Um, we should have been able to make that deal. I kind of hate that we couldn't. But I think we can do with Mr. Hill again. We've been making deals with him before. So 123000 That's literally all we have. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I think he's going to accept, so we spent all of our money. <laughs> we spent all of it, but we now have a 44% stake. So next turn, we should have 50%. We should be able to get up to 50. 
And of course, we're going to get even more money next turn, too. So I think we're in a decent position. And I'll probably buy out Mr. Foster. So then that should give me my 51% that I need to make changes. All right. I'm going to refuse that. All right. I was going to say what I might do, too, is I could sell like half of my stake or like a percentage of my stake in uh, in the other company and then start to use it for here. But I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there, in all honesty. Ah, Mrs. Ross has voted for an increase in workers to increase the net income by one million. I would agree with that, though I don't know if everybody else will. Oh, they did. That's gonna. Oh, my income now goes up to two hundred eighteen thousand per turn because of that. Look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> it's a freaking Christmas miracle. Thank you, Mrs. Ross, for suggesting such a thing. Um, I probably should have done that a long time ago. <laughs> I probably should have done that a long time ago. So now we're getting two hundred thousand per turn. Nothing compared to my opponent, but. It helps, because I can pretty much buy my 50% stake next turn, so we're going to be good. All right, so now, this is the moment of truth. We only need pretty much Mr. Foster's stake um, at this point. It's really all we need to take over complete control of, well, not complete control, but majority control of the company, so that we can pretty much do whatever we want to do. 131000 Actually, I could get more than that. 6%. I got 200,000. I could I could do even more. I could jump up 12%, I guess, after this. He's not going to accept this right now, but we still got another round of negotiating, so, you know, it's not all hope is not yet lost. I don't think he's going to accept this one either. Actually, it was so close, so close, so close, but no cigar. I'm going with this one. This should be the nail in the coffin, and indeed it is. All right, he's going to accept this deal. Our influence is going to increase by two points altogether. All right, so now we should get another achievement, I believe, and we should have points to use. So, yep, we got Purchasing Stake, all right, and Devil Diplomat, level two, I guess. All right, so now I'm going to use this on Manage. I got two points to use. I'm going to use one on Management so that my managers will go ahead and, like, increase uh, what they're doing faster, and I'll use another one on Finances. So that's going to increase us to 240K per turn now. So now that I can do that, though, I need to go ahead and um, make my changes that I wanted to make here. So I wanted to put him, I wanted to change him from this because we don't really need him over there. So he can work, sometimes this glitches out for some reason and it doesn't move the way that it's supposed to. So I'll move him there and I'll move him from over here because I don't really need that either. And then we'll move him there. All right, and I can actually expand our workers. So we're gaining 187,000 per turn. All right, and what I want to do I still got 80,000 left to use, all right? So we're, current, we're currently worth 2.6 mil. I don't know exact, I guess I'll just keep, I'll, I'll keep going slow and steady to buy this out, but eventually we'll get there. I can now deal with Mrs. Cook also too. I can deal with a number of people that I couldn't deal with before, so this is good. Um, I only got 80,000, how much is your stake worth? I'll go ahead and finish buying you out, since I, I can. Mr. W Mr. Hill, I'll go ahead and get you out of the company. All right, I'll give you 8% more if that's what you want. I'll go ahead and get you out the way. And there we go. All right, so we now have a 53% stake in the company. Influence increased a little bit, a little bit, but not that much. I wonder if I go back to, um, if I go back here, can I vote for, I, I don't think I can. I was going to say, if I go back to Jericho, could I vote for an increase in dividend prices or dividends? I, I think I'd still need the 50%. Yeah. So never mind. But I'm going to end it here, guys. And I will see you in the next one.